now let's look at problem number 53. I want to find dy dx for y equals the square root of x plus the square root of x. Now, uh, some people don't like working with square roots as much. That's fine. If you don't, we could change this all into fraction powers. Uh, so if I would prefer, I could write this as x plus x to the one half to the one half. Okay. If you'd prefer to work with this guy rather than this guy, that's perfectly fine. And so let's just go ahead and change it over and work with this one. So now that I see this, I see that I have something raised to the one-half power, okay? So I have something to the one-half, and what's the derivative of something to the one-half power? Well, we know from the power rule that that would be one-half of that something, so what's ever on the inside, x plus x to the one-half raised to the negative one-half times, okay, so I took the derivative of the outside. The derivative of something to the one-half is one-half that something to the negative one-half times the derivative of what's on the inside. But the derivative of x plus x to the one-half, well, the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of x to the one-half is one-half x to the negative one-half. So I have something to the one-half is one-half something to the negative one-half. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is one plus one-half x to the negative one-half. Now, if we wanted to clean this up a little bit, we certainly could and write it in a little cleaner way, uh, getting rid of these fractional powers. But this is certainly the right answer. Okay, If I wanted to rewrite this thing, I might write it this way. Uh, we could write this as 1 plus 1 over 2 root x, that's this piece, divided by 2 square roots of x plus square root x. So that would be one way of rewriting this thing without using any negative exponents. But this is certainly the right answer with negative exponents. This is the right answer without using any negative exponents.